Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Eros in the fourth house in a natal chart. Now, Eros in astrology can be connected with what uh, we may have a very powerful sexual attraction to, the kind of person, astrologically speaking, uh, we may have this near unconquerable sexual attraction to. And given, uh, we're, since we're talking about houses, it's more about the where. Uh, in, in the what is as opposed to the, that actual kind of person, but you still could have uh, some some flavoring in terms of the kind of person because this is the the fourth house in astrology is the house of can the zodiac sign Cancer, so this may be a person that may have some uh, Cancerian like undercurrents and may blend in a little bit with the sign that your arrow is uh, is in now. Given this is the fourth house, though, this could be somebody that you may, uh, it might be somebody very uh, protective, very motherly. It could be somebody that figures prominently in that end or that latter part of, of life uh, with. It could be somebody you grow old with. So this might be somebody that might ultimately be uh, someone that you're in a, in a strong, that might be a significant other at that latter part of life. It could also be somebody that resonates with who, uh, the, the person that you are uh, at the core uh, Say if this is uh, in Aries, and especially if you have Aries on your fourth house cusp in your natal chart, uh, this could be somebody that might be uh, a person that might be very uh, com combative, but yet brave, have a lot of fortitude and courage, be very aggressive and assertive. And it might be somebody that may you may resonate that that may resonate with the qualities or attributes you have at the core. Could also be somebody that's very uh, family oriented, that that's very family dominant type of person, or the family is a focal point in that this person's life. And somebody you may simply feel close to home with. So this could actually be a very good position uh, if, for Eros if this is somebody that you definitely feel uh, compatible with uh, on other levels as well. Now, when you're talking about Eros in astrology, it can be that energy again that you that you may have that powerful sexual attraction who you find very alluring and enticing, but uh, the, the, that sexual kind of per, that kind of person you may have very difficulty in in terms of resisting, but you may be incompatible on other levels depending on the uh, the other elements in your chart. Now, it could be uh, also to someone that figures very strongly in your traditions and your foundations as well. Now, in some cases, this may and, and be a Cancerian sun, moon, or ascendant person because it does correspond with the fourth house in a natal chart. In a lot of cases, this may be somebody that uh, that is connected with your Eros uh, zodiac sign. Uh, I mean, if you have this, if you have Eros in your natal chart, say uh, in Libra. It could be somebody that you may uh, that may have a Libra Sun Moon or Ascendant person or one that embodies those traits. Now, let's say your Eros uh, makes a conjunction to another person's Ascendant. It could be a very this could really reaffirm and confer a very strong physical connection. If it's the Moon, it could be more on an unconscious or subconscious level. Now, if it's a sun, it's more where you're alert by perhaps the basic character of the person, the inside of the person, but the phys but there might be a physical connection to some degree because the sun can be associated with the physical body, but even though the ascendant is what really is what dominates the appearance in astrology, but the sun can still have some physical characteristics to it. Now, also, too, when you're talking about Eros in astrology, it's, it can be very extreme. It could be that energy again that you might be that you might have a very powerful sexual attraction to, but could also, in some cases, may be an exceptional turnoff. In some cases, you may simply be rebuffed by or will flat out repudiate. Now, given that this is uh, you're, you're talking about the fourth house now. Is some of the qualities that you might that somebody might be enamored with that are associated with eros in the fourth house in a person they might be actually rebuffed by now uh it could be where in some cases a person may be turned off by an overly uh, smothering overprotective qualities if you're somebody 
that has like say your your sun moon or ascendant in aquarius you you might be somewhat turned off by this because you are it would be more of a person that might be a little bit more aloof detached and want your freedom and your independence uh more and you want others maybe to give you uh, the freedom to kind of do what you want sagittarius could be very similar sagittarius could be that meander of the zodiac very adventurous the explorer so uh it, it could be i mean in sagittarius likes to be you know outdoors a lot and be able to have their freedom to wander around where they want to go and if you have this eros in the fourth house that might it might be tough to, to deal with somebody uh that might be overly smothering or overprotective now it could also be uh where you might be rebuffed where this the energy you, you might be rebuffed by and, and turned off by it might be somebody that might be dominated by their home life or somebody that's too clingy a person that may may want to be too close to home uh, with you or even in some cases an overly emotional person because remember we're talking about the fourth house and it does correspond with the zodiac sign uh cancer of course the sign that eros is in could modify this greatly and if you have like say eros in a more on uh, a less a much less emotional sign such as gemini or aquarius that could modify that energy to some degree now also too eros in astrology can be associated with the creative energy and the ability uh one uh may express now uh, since we're talking about the fourth house in astrology, this energy may be uh, expressed strongly in one's home. It could be with the less dominant parent, which is often uh, the mother of one's family and people you simply feel close to home with. Uh, these, this energy may go on to that that end, that latter part of life uh, that you're in. And uh, I mean, say if you have this in, uh, in Scorpio as an example, this could be a person that might express their creativity through uh, astrology, the occult, supernatural, um, and it might be somebody that expresses this very strongly uh, all until... Uh, until that latter or end part of life but also the creative energy that may be expressed can be tied into one's emotional security uh as well and uh i mean this could be a person say if this is an aquarius a person might show their creativity perhaps in some kind of you know sophisticated alarm system using computer technology electronics to give themselves that safety and security in their home uh perhaps so uh, and also this creative energy might be expressed a lot when no one uh, is around when you're basically when you're kind of like you're basically you're by yourself and your own you know your own company so anyway now arrows in astrology can also be associated with what one may have a very powerful exuberance and enthusiasm for now given that this is the fourth house in astrology it can be that uh it could be for the family it could be doing family related activities it could be let's say you have this in leo leo can be associated with games uh it could be a person that has a lot of ex exuberance enthusiasm and passion for doing some uh for playing games that are with the family such as twister or something uh like that or you know it could be guitar hero something that could be some just some kind of game in general that's very uh fun amusing and enjoyable now it could also be where this person might even have that strong exuberance for introversion for doing things just by themselves in their home and 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 also to this energy may be expressed strongly in that end or that latter part of life it could be a person say if this is in capricorn is another example this could simply be a person that may express uh strong enthusiasm for planning and premeditating that latter or end part of life for getting for being a good planner and getting ready for that latter or end part of one's life if they are not in that uh, spot of their life already and also too it's also uh, about expressing perhaps a lot of enthusiasm as far as the qualities 
you have uh, at the core. Um, so, I mean, say if this is in Gemini as an example, you might be somebody that might express a lot of, uh, enjoy expressing a lot of Gemini-like qualities you have at the core. It could be just being very mercurial or versatile or well-balanced, being very diversified, uh, being dexterous, things of that uh, nature. Now, also, too, um, and, and it could also be where you might express a lot of passion and exuberance for uh, for things that are safety related through your, your traditions and matters with ancestry and your roots. Say if you have this in Scorpio, you might be somebody that may uh, simply have a lot of enthusiasm for digging very deep into your roots into your traditions uh, as well, and even going beyond superficiality and subterfuge with home and family members. Now, I'll use uh, take an aspect as an example. Let's say that you have Eros in your fourth house in your natal chart, and it makes a sextile or trine to your natal Saturn. Well, you might be some, this could be more auspicious for doing these things that you might have that very powerful exuberance and enthusiasm for but being doing so with laborious effort and it might be you might have better chance of balancing these this energy with your career related matters and your father may likely be uh, approve of these things uh, as well that you express that you're simply that you feel close to home with um, or, or matters with your traditions. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Lawrence saying stay well.